The Book of Ecclesiastes, Chapter 11 In studying this chapter, to appreciate the value of benevolence and diligence in preparing for the future, to glean what counsel the preacher offers for those who are young. In this chapter, the preacher begins with encouraging benevolence and diligence as ways to guard against the uncertain future by casting our bread upon the waters, willing to offer servings to many, and not withholding our hands in the evening, our benevolence may serve us well in the future, should evil befall us. 11 verses 1 through 3 Cast your bread on the waters, for you shall find it after many days. Give a portion to seven, yes, even to eight, for you don't know what evil will be on the earth. If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves on the earth. And if a tree falls toward the south or toward the north, in the place where the tree falls, there shall it be. Likewise, things may happen beyond our ability to control or comprehend. But diligence in sowing seed and being mindful of the dark days to come can help to prepare us for their coming. 11 verses 4 through 8 he who observes the wind won't sow, and he who regards the clouds won't reap, as you don't know what is the way of the wind, nor how the bones grow in the womb of her who is with child. Even so, you don't know the work of God who does all. In the morning sow your seed, and in the evening don't withhold your hand, for you don't know which will prosper, whether this or that, or whether they both will be equally good. Truly the light is sweet and a pleasant thing it is for the eyes to see the sun. Yes, if a man lives many years, let him rejoice in them all. But let him remember the days of darkness, for they shall be many. All that comes is vanity. This chapter also introduces counsel from the preacher designed especially for the young. The young man is encouraged to rejoice, letting his heart cheer him, he is told to walk in the ways of his heart and in the sight of his eyes, yet with the knowledge that God will hold him accountable for all that he does. 11 verse 9 Rejoice, young man, in your youth, and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth, and walk in the ways of your heart and in the sight of your eyes, but know that for all these things God will bring you into judgment. So remove sorrow, rejoice but also put away evil during the fleeting years of childhood and youth. 11 verse 10 Therefore remove sorrow from your heart, and put away evil from your flesh, for youth and the dawn of life are vanity. This concludes chapter 11 of the book of Ecclesiastes.